Nearly all of us can recall the feeling. We're in a car, or on a boat or a plane, or even a merry-go-round or a roller coaster. And then it hits. Our head starts to hurt. We feel queasy, dizzy, our mouth waters, and oh, this is not gonna be good. Ugh, motion sickness. So what is it about moving that gives us such unease? And why is it that it happens so inconsistently from person to person? Eyes on the horizon, folks. It's time for Al Connected's general knowledge. As it turns out, moving and feeling sick kind of go hand in hand. In fact, the term for having the urge to vomit, nausea, comes from the Greek and loosely means sea sickness or ship sickness. Now this is because, back in those days, the place that you were most likely to have this feeling was on a boat. Of course, these days, we have all kinds of things from trains and cars, planes, rockets, even amusement park rides and IMAX theaters that can recreate these conditions. So what are these conditions anyway? The human brain is constantly receiving information from sensors placed all over the body. It uses this information to tell us everything from the temperature, to whether we're feeling hungry or tired, to approaching threats. And it also uses this to let us know where we are physically. Are we moving? Standing still? Upside down? Right side up? Using data from its senses, the brain lets us know. The two senses that it relies upon? Firstly, is our eyes. These detect our surroundings and whether or not we are moving in relation to them. Second is the vestibular system, more commonly known as the inner ear. Now this is very sensitive to outside pressure and the feeling of gravity's pull upon us, and especially how that feeling changes as we move. But what if your eyes are telling you that you're sitting still, whereas your inner ear is saying you're getting tossed all over the place? Such as when you're focused on reading a book inside a moving car. The brain registers confusion. One sense is telling me that we're moving and the other sense says I'm standing still. In these cases, nausea can begin. Or perhaps it doesn't. Not all human beings are as vulnerable to motion sickness as others. And what's more, while scientists generally understand how our bodies are able to reach this state, they still don't really understand why. After all, what is the purpose of feeling queasy and even throwing up when our brain signals don't add up? Ultimately, motion sickness is kind of one of those weird quirks of human life that we just sort of have to live with. If you find yourself in the midst of it, getting some fresh air and watching the horizon, a still, constant, balanced spot should help return your brain to its happy place. Thanks so much for watching. And by the way, don't let yourself feel ill. Subscribe below and you'll never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.